Hey, gang, it is Friday. It is actually the last Friday in 2019. Wow. The final Friday. Final Friday. It's the last Friday in 2019. And I did a video early this morning. I couldn't sleep. So I did a video. I ended up deleting it. It's about the Bill of Rights and due process. I don't know, man. I just in my head. But I did want to throw out there for all the people... These trolls that I get that are YouTube lawyers. Um, sometimes when we say something, okay, you don't always have to go right to uh, how the process works. I'll give you an example. So I was talking about why didn't uh, Um No Thanks press charges when he was out there? Why did he wait until the next day? I know that a citizen on the street doesn't press charges. I know about the criminal process. Okay. <laughs> That's just an old school phrase, Me, you know, when you say, I'm going to press charges on you. All that really means is it's like an old school way of saying, I'm going to have you arrested for whatever you did. Because that's what the police say now is that, would you like to have them arrested for assault? Would you like to have them arrested for battery? Um, <clears throat> and then you make the arrest because the cops weren't there. You saw it. So you say, yeah, I want him arrested. He assaulted me. They arrest him. They take him. They book him. And then the. ADA, which is assistant district attorney, looks at the charges that the police are bringing to him and files those charges or presses charges. <clears throat> I know all of that. Okay, but anytime you guys hear me say, why didn't that guy press charges? That's just an old school way of saying, why didn't you have him arrested so that he could, you know, you could do a report and file as a victim. That's all that means. Okay, so, but you get the, I get these trolls, man, and they go, I heard what you said. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Where do you get this shit from? Where do you get this stuff from? Come on. Um, no, it's so, so anytime, you know, you have to say things a certain specific way for some people or these trolls, they don't get what you're saying and they jump on it and go, I know the law. Okay, good for you, man. Stop being so stiff. Relax. It's okay. I know Doug Hutton can't press charges on people. It goes to the DA and all that. And I'm, I'm just giving you the short version here because I don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time to sit and talk about this. But I just wanted to clarify that, that look, sometimes you may hear me say something. Don't all of a sudden go, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, listen to what I'm saying, okay? <laughs> sometimes we just, you know, it's, uh, saying, you know, would you like to press charges on this guy? It's an old school way of saying, would you, do you want him to get arrested so that we can, you know, he can be charged? Um, that's just all that is. So anyway, I hope that makes sense because I have to go. I don't have a whole lot of time here. I wanted to clarify that though, that, yeah, I know how it, the due, I know the due process of law. Okay. I'm a little more educated than some of you trolls think. I've gone to police academy. I took uh, court procedures and criminal law in college. I know a few things. It's just sometimes when I say things, I use old school terminology and it just kind of, you know, sometimes you may think I may say, you know, that guy could press charges on him. No, he can't. The DA presses charge. The district attorney files charges. I know, dipshit. I'm saying he could have him arrested. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Uh, you just you have to use certain verb terminology and verbiage or people get offended. I don't get it. I don't know. I'm, I hadn't had my coffee yet either, so I need my coffee. I've been talking for three minutes. Thanks, guys, for watching. I do have an editorial for you. You're going to love this one. Yeah, you probably saw the thumbnail. You're going to love this one. No, you're not. This happened back in September. Uh, they did an investigation, and now the police have made a, a, de a determination. And you're not going to like the determination, probably. Comes to us from Seattle Times. Thank you, Seattle Times. We're going out to Kirkland, Washington. Two Kirkland police officers followed department policies and procedures when they roughly arrested a 14-year-old boy in YMCA teen center, shoved the center's director, and threatened to use a taser on another teenager this fall, according to a final report following an investigation of the arrest. However, one officer's use of profanity during the September 5 arrest at the Kirkland Teen Union Building violated Kirkland Police Department policy, Chief Sherry Harris and City Manager Kirk Triplett said in a joint statement this month. 
The investigation also found that the second officer failed to correctly assist the first officer during the arrest when he could have prevented a group from getting too close to his partner. The investigation said the officers were not motivated by race. Two white officers and the teenagers and program director are black. You don't always want to throw the race. It's not always about race, although, you know, they, I don't think they profiled here. We'll get into that briefly here. Um, the YMCA officials say the incident, which was captured on video by KTUB's surveillance cameras, traumatized the staff and teens and undermined relations between the police and and youth they plan to collaborate with the city of kirkland to try to improve those relationships especially between marginalized communities and the city's law enforcement now the ymca of greater seattle said in a prepared statement on behalf of our staff the young people we serve and kirkland community members we are troubled by the results of this investigation while we are disappointed by the findings of the investigation we must continue to speak up for the community we serve Officer Doug Miller, who swore when he threatened to use a taser and in response to the KTUB director, received verbal counseling. The incident will also be documented in his file, Kirkland Police Lieutenant Rob Saloum said in an interview. In the report, Chief Sherry Harris wrote that the officer's behavior was unacceptable. She wrote, quote, while those around him are reported to have been loud in challenging the arrest and may have been using profanity, a police officer is expected to maintain a professional decorum at all times. And that's one of the other reasons I do cop watch. That's one of the reasons that I cop watch. That's kind of sort of how I got into cop watching and got into this because I myself am a public servant. And I can't cuss people out at work. I can't be getting in their face and cussing them out. People be like, are you fucking crazy? I can do it on here because this is YouTube and I'm off and I'm doing my own thing. And if you don't like it, watch Dave Champion. Then come back to me and go, you're really not that bad. I love Dave Champion, by the way. I love the guy, but he drops more F-bombs than Harry Truman. Uh, so anyway, some old people will get that joke. So anyway... um. That, but that's why I cop watch is uh, one of the reasons I do it and one of the reasons I got into it because as a public servant, I expect police officers to also hold a professional decorum when they're out there. You know, I don't expect cops to go, hey, F you, get F back, mf -er, or get your effing hands behind your effing back. I'm like, dude, 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 you're representing the county or the city or whoever you're representing with that badge and that patch and that uniform. You should hold yourself in a more professional manner. And I know people are going to say, well, you don't understand. There's adrenaline. There's this. Well, then they should probably get trained better. Because I have people cuss at, we have people coming into our office and they cuss at us and they get mad at us. And we've had people slam their hand down on the counter and you have to politely go, you know, I understand it's frustrating. I do. It's frustrating. I get it. But we're going to help you. We're going to get through this. You know, you have to talk them through it. You can't go, hey, man, get out of my effing face. I'm doing my job. You know, you can't be like that. You cannot be like that when you're serving the public. You have to be like, you know, I know it's frustrating. I get it. I, I get your frustration. I know you probably don't think I do. I'm here to help you. We're going to get you through this. You're going to be happy when you walk out. And I've actually had people come in the office, see me if I'm working up front, and they go, I want that guy. I've had people say that. They say, oh, can I talk to him? I want him. And I'm just like, I feel, you know, like my head goes, you know, like, yeah. Um, but I think it's because I'm about public service and I'm about helping people am i always on no sometimes you're off a little sometimes we all have days where maybe we're not feeling good or our heads kind of you know head cold or you're tired you didn't sleep good last night or sure out of 365 days i'm not going to be at the top of my game 365 days nobody is you i mean the only person that was ever perfect uh they crucified him and got rid of him because the jews didn't want him but and that's nothing against the Jews. See, now I said that. Now y'all are going to go, oh, if you're an anti-Semite. No, I'm talking about the Jews in the Bible that rejected Jesus. Uh, but, you know, the, the only one that was perfect, they didn't want him. They rejected him. So none of us are perfect. But we can still have that level of criticism or that level of 
transparency and accountability to where when I cop watch and I hear, you know, a cop starts cussing, I can go, hey, man, you're representing your department. Stop that. That's unprofessional behavior. I can still point it out. And I would expect people to point it out to me, especially if I drop profanity in public. People should go, you know, I'm at work. I got my badge on and I drop, you know, profanity. People should go, hey, they did, they did. So let's get back to it here. Um, I just wanted to nail that down real quick that that's another reason we record the police is to make sure that they act in a professional and ethical manner because we're paying their, for them to be out there or paying our tax money for them to be out there. They shouldn't be cussing us out. So going on, he had not been disciplined previously nor received any citizen complaints according to the report. Neither he nor the second officer, Randy Rogers, could be reached for comment Thursday. Well, they're not going to comment. They're, it's, they're embarrassed. The September arrest occurred as police officers responded to several 911 calls involving a group of teens who allegedly trespassed at Juanita High School and were chased off by a school resource officer. The police department said there were multiple 911 calls from the neighborhood reporting vandalism and theft, including one where a youth stole a tip jar at Taco Del Mar. One of the boys, the 14-year-old, was seen going into KTUB by someone whose package was stolen, the department said. When Miller's, uh, Miller and Rogers were let into the building, that's the two cops, by someone who was holding the door open for another person, then told KTUB intern that they were looking for a suspect who they had probable cause to arrest and asked if the kids were inside, according to the report. Now, an officer reported he saw the teen suspected of stealing a package, told him he was under arrest and took hold of his elbows. The teen, according to police, attempted to flee. The officer flung the teen to the ground, put his knee on his head and handcuffed him. Video of arrest shows. Program director Antoine Jackson arrived, identified himself as the director and asked what was happening. Jackson told the officers that he needed information before they could take the boy out of the facility. According to his statement outlined in the report, the officer then pushed him and said, I don't give a profanity who you are. I don't give a bleep who you are. That's professional instead of. Let me explain something to you. Come here for a second here. This is what we're doing and explain what's going on. You have to understand these are teens. These are youth. Antoine Jackson is responsible for them. The police take him out of the building. Let's say his parents show up and he goes, oh, the cops took him. Now he's in trouble. He's liable for what happened to that teen. He can't explain. I don't know. The police came in here and took him. I now he's got his, you know, his ass is in a sling, you see. So the cops should have stopped and said, <clears throat> you're the director. You're the guy in charge here. Let me talk to you for a second. Come here and talk to him. And they have a conversation and he goes, I'm sorry, but he, oh, he did, you know, he's suspected of stealing. If he was stealing packages, fuck that little brat. He needs to go to juvie. Um, but that does not warrant excessive use of force and profanity by the cops. The cops are not getting a pass here. Profanity is unprofessional. And what they did was unprofessional. Um, but I'm not giving that teen a pass either if he was stealing packages. And I only say that because it's happening all over here. I mean, this, this last few days, people have been package stealing like crazy. All over the U.S. The guy that flipped his car with a girl in it and they had 108 packages in the back. Anyway, moving on. I'm, I digress. So the cop should have took him aside and said, let's talk for a second, you know, and whatever. But the department didn't object to the officer pushing Jackson. He didn't object to them pushing him back. He didn't object to that. No. Hands on. Didn't object to that. Oh, no. Yes. But they did object to his use of swear words. Other youth and Jackson followed the officer who then pulled out his taser and said, I'm going to bleep and tase you if you don't back up. He then exited the building with the arrested teen. I'm going to get back to that in a second. The 14-year-old was charged with third-degree theft of the package, which had contents worth about $20, according to the report. So he stole the package worth about 20 bucks. Now he's going to jail. <clears throat> and I know people are going to side with the cops on this 100%. I'm not. Um, I'm going to say if the teen, the teen was charged with third-degree theft, I know cops lie. I know cops... 
But if people saw this kid stealing packages and they say, yeah, that was him, that little brat needs to be arrested. I'm sorry. I It just pisses me off when people take other people's property that they worked hard for, that they spent hard-earned money on, and then some little son of a bitch comes and takes it. That pisses me off. So that teen don't get a pass. However, the cops aren't getting a pass here either because he's. they said, uh, they said that the... the, the the, 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 the other youth in Jackson followed the officer who pulled out his taser and said, I'm going to bleep and tase you if you don't back up. There's another story where I saw, uh, I've read about two or three of these, but I kept getting pop-ups, so I wanted to choose one that doesn't have a lot of pop-ups so you guys don't get inundated with these ads. But one of the other ones I read, Jackson said something to the effect of the cop said, I'll shoot you in the face with my taser, is what he said that he said. Um... Either way, there is no way that cop should have acted like that to him. He should have said, you're the director. Okay, stay right here. We need to take him and put him in the car. He is going to be arrested. I will come back. I will talk to you. Have them sit down. Everybody sit down. I will come back and I will talk to you about what's going on because you're the director and I, you need to know what's going on. I will be back. Whatever, Or, or just, you know, he could have did that. He could have been more professional. I understand there's adrenaline. People are loud. People are getting in your face. They're coming up on him. But he needs to understand if you can't control yourself, if you can't keep yourself calm and breathe, then he's in the wrong profession. He needs another profession because he's, he's not fit for that job. But I did want to say one last thing is that these two officers probably need to be trained a little bit more on how to deal with a crowd, how to deal with loud noise, how to deal with people all around them, because these guys didn't do too good. I want to know what you think in the comment section below. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought when wife called. But I want to hear what you guys got to say in the comment section below. I will put a link to this story in the description box below. Community Leo Watch. Watching Leos, that's law enforcement officers, all around the nation, including Kirkland, Washington. What do you guys think? Happy Friday, the last Friday of 2019. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye. Love you guys.